Hello, this is Roland. This is a fourth in a series of videos that I'm making called Shedding Shackles, Principles for um, Recovery, for, st for Starting New. For most people, their life needs a makeover. It's because when you were a little child, you became upset. And as the years went by, you, you got angry, you became upset, you became emotional. And when you did, you, you were imprinted with memories, with the memories of scenes that um, should now be long forgotten. Okay? What somebody said, what somebody did, especially if, if a parent said something mean or betrayed you or neglected you, or they weren't there for you, or in some subtle way they, they weren't there for you. And you were abandoned or neglected, basically, to the public school system. Things happened. There were bullies. There were stealing. Lots of teas. Cruelty. And those things got to you, and before long, those things, be, being teased and challenged, became the major, major part of your, of your life. Of, of those things and then your reaction to them, your response to them, it became a trauma, a multitude of traumas, because you reacted with upset and with resentment and with anger. And before long you went around and, there, and then you, you encountered situations and people that were like the ones who had upset you before, like the ones who had been cruel before, situations like the one that had upset you before. And before long, you're reacting to those at various levels. And so your whole life is like you're driving around with the brakes on. Your whole life is, is always being upset, always reacting, always being emotional, always, see? And then, of course, there's fear. Fear of encountering the situation again like the one that happened in the past. And then there's worry. And through all of those reactions and upsets, respond, reacting to tease, See? Or challenge. See, challenge is a tease also. Challenging you to be more, to study more, to be better, to be good. See? See, always challenge you to perform better, to win for the coach. More, more, more. See? That's, that's also a tease. Tease to your ego. And then, of course, there's raw tease, all kinds of tease. And then there's pressure. Which is also a tease when you start. It, see, it's it's like a tease or a temptation that's there, and you don't even know it's there until you respond to it, until you react to it, and then after you react to it, then you become sensitive to it, and then you become subject to it. See, you can remember when you were a little tiny child, there were all kinds of things going on, it didn't bother you, you kind of lived in your own little world. It was sweet, okay. But then as, the older you got, the more you became sensitive to people, what they said, the way they looked at you, what they thought about you, what they said behind your back. See, you became very sensitive to people and then you reacted. And you became afraid of speaking up because you were afraid of what they would say. See? So, or what they would do. Well, okay, so that became the focal point of your life. And then you know what happened? You lost yourself. You became a creature of trauma, a creature of reacting, a creature of emotion, see? And so between reacting and responding or hiding and avoiding, see, and trying to, to keep yourself from reacting and the more you try, the, the stronger the emotions became and trying to push everything under the rug and push it under the surface, but then it came out anyway. That's what your whole life became, and then it became symptoms. See, the upset, the unhappiness, the misery, the, the fear that came from all those reactions. Well, then you started to try symptom removal. So you, try, you may have tried marijuana and drugs and alcohol and, see, and the, the, the love of the world, other people's pr approval and other people's love. But you found out it didn't satisfy. You found out it only, it was only an extension of the, of the pressure that had, see, that had T taking you away from your center of dignity. So you lost yourself. So now you don't know who you are. You have no idea what you might have, what you might have been had you never re reacted to 
the pressures and to the teases and the temptations. If you never had, why well, you might have been an Einstein or a Madame Curie, a Ruth, see, a Susan B. Anthony, a, a Beethoven, a Mozart. See, who knows what you might have been had you not reacted, but you did, see. And so now you, you need to start over again. Well, here's what you need to do. First, um, with the help of my meditation, you need to learn how to become centered again and get out of negative thoughts. See, now those thoughts that rise up, those are the result of having reacted to and responded to temptations. And see, your mind is awash with images. And every day you go out in the world and react and react and react. And then at night you lay down in bed and all the, the images of what happened that day keep parading before your mind. And the next morning you get up and the world and, and the first thing is the world is on your shoulders. The weight of the world is on your shoulders. Oh no, a bill I have to pay, somebody I have to talk to, something I have to do. See, those are reactions too. See, if you, hadn't re if you didn't react, then each moment would be fresh and new, and you would simply do what needs to be done, see, without emotion, and then it would be over, and then you'd do the next thing. So what you need is a total makeover. Start with my meditation, okay? And if you are, if you're sincere about wanting to be a better person, wanting to get right, see, even though you don't know what right is, you don't want to react anymore. You see how your reactions and your anger and so on, how it hurts your partner and how it hurts your kids. So, and you're, if you're willing to know the truth, okay, even if it means the truth means you have to see your own failings, see, then if that's the case, then the meditation will most likely work for you. It will help you to get centered. Then you can go out in the world a little bit calmer, a little bit distant, not so reactive. So you'll stop reacting and overreacting to new pressures. And then the meditation also helps you to stand back and observe the memories from the past that surface. Okay? You just observe them without reacting to them and without getting lost in them. See? It's very important. And it'll also help you not to get lost in imagination, in daydreaming, see, in visualizations, where you float away from reality. You need to be back in reality where the birds are singing, see, and the wind is blowing in the trees. Meditation is very simple. It's only six minutes long. You practice it every morning, every noon, and every evening. And at other times, you have a minute or two or three or four to spare, then practice it at other times also. Okay? That'll get you started. And then listen to, this, to these videos and watch some of my other videos that I have on, on topics. And my books would be nice too, some of my books. If you start with the easy meditation, that's what I'm talking about. Start with the easy meditation. Okay, it's free. Then with time you might graduate to the to the to the standard three part meditation, the one I've had for twenty years now, twenty five years. And that consists of um, of uh, I believe it's three parts, three three part meditation. It's a download. It's only ten. It's a, it's a suggested donation of ten dollars, okay, using PayPal, okay, at sheddingshackles.com. But with with the with the download, you get an ebook, okay. You'll get the ebook, "Becoming a Friend of God." This is a very nice book. It'd be a good read for you, "Becoming a Friend of God." You'll get it in ebook form if you get it online. You'll get it immediately in e in ebook form, okay. And you'll also get in ebook form um, a brief introduction to stress management, which is also very good. Okay, and then I think you also get this uh, this guide to true peace, which is a republication of some beautiful spiritual writings from a long time ago. I think you'll enjoy it. So those would be nice reading material, to uh, so, and you'll understand them as if you start to do the meditation religiously, <laughs> then you'll understand these. Okay. So, um, lots of resources for you. My name is Roland.